Today we're bringing you a blast from the past. I'm Millie Eggert. And I'm Derek Woodrow. And we're at Syndicate Studios. So Derek, do you remember when these things were popular back in the 70s? No. Me neither. <laughs> but terrariums are back. Terrariums are back, and in a big way. They're super popular right now. Syndicate's brought us four different containers. Two sizes of cylinder and two sizes of footage. I've selected the larger cylinder to make my own terrarium. So what would you put in a terrarium? Well, the typical terrarium would probably contain some kind of plant material and then other either natural or decorative materials. So I have some items here that I've selected that we can kind of play with. Okay, sounds good. I always like to start with some kind of natural base, either a sand, soil, or stone. Since we're going to be working with cut succulents, I thought it would be best to start with stone. Okay, so you just pour those and let them hang out in the bottom. You got it. We can even shape this as kind of a landscape in the bottom of our glass. Okay. So now we have a base. Then we can select some of our plant material and build around it. I chose two different styles and sizes of cut succulents. I think this one might be a little large for our container. Mm -hmm. So let's go with some of the smaller ones. And what exactly are succulents? You need to water those or how does... Cut succulents work almost as a cut flower. It's actually more like a long lasting cut flower. It's been severed from the plant, but it will continue to die from the base up. So it'll last a few months or so like this. Good. So we can kind of place these in there where we want to see them and we can always move them around later. That's the beauty of terrariums. Everything can be nicely placed in there gently and easily moved around if we need to. Okay. I want to add a little bit of branches just to give it some height in there. There's a lot okay. of room in there, so we might as well utilize some of that. Now in nature, things tend to be a little bit messy, so we don't have to worry about this being really precise and neat. Now we could always use some non-natural elements too. Oh, these look like our diamond gems. That would be right. Add a little sparkle. Add a little sparkle. It does add a little bit of sparkle. It does. <laughs> I like it. And now we add the lid. And we're done. It was easy. Terrariums can also be designed with potted plants or with fresh cut flowers. And I also like that you can repurpose them and use them as decorative items. You can fill them with cranberries for Christmas or any kind of seasonal item you want to put in it. A hot decor item right now are candy tables at weddings. You could use terrarium glass to fill with lots of different kinds of candies for this. Derek, you and I may have missed the 70s, but I'm glad terrariums are back. Contact your local wholesaler for more information.